The chances of Daniel Ricciardo staying with Red Bull for 2019 have increased immensely after the Australian admitted two most attractive options have closed the doors on him. Last week, Motorsport.com reported the Aussie is close to signing a new deal with the Austrian outfit. had spent some time trying to get the attention of Mercedes and Ferrari. But nothing solid came from the wait. It looks like Mercedes is happy with the current lineup of Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas and will continue the same for the next season. Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel will either continue to race with Kimi Raikkonen or get Charles Leclerc as his replacement, it's obviously looking more likely he'll probably remain, but there still hasn't been any pen to paper, said Ricciardo. I'm still trying to get a few last things sorted, not every door is closed, but it's looking more and more likely that the other top teams will probably remain with the lineup. I don't have the facts on that, but you kind of just read between the lines and you feel that's probably going to remain, obviously if it wasn't Red Bull, Ferrari and Mercedes are the two most attractive options, if they're not possible, then for me now it's hard to be convinced that another option is better than Red Bull. I'm making sure that I'm right with my judgments. In the last few months, both Vettel and Hamilton have said they have no problem with anyone else taking the second seat in the respective teams. Both admitted they are happy with the relationship they have with the current teammates. When asked if he was too quick for both the top drivers to recommend his name, the Honey Badger jokingly said he has been trying hard to make them, Hamilton and Vettel, think I'm not the good ever since Monaco Pearl win. Max Verstappen has outperformed Ricciardo in all the races post Monaco GP. The Aussie did not have the pace in Canada, suffered a front wing damage in France and had some team order trouble in Austria qualifier and then retired from the race due to car trouble. In the British GP, he could not use the DRS automatically and qualified for the 6th place. Max is driving well, but I think there's been things every weekend since Monaco which has just been a bit of a disruption or a bit of bad luck, he said. I don't think it cost me the 5th place on the Silverstone grid with the DRS, but it just, I don't know, pisses me off.